What is up guys? Casey here with the Coyote Works channel. We are headed out in the woods today to hide a thousand dollar prize package from Lolo Overland. So this is all part of the seasonal Lolo adventure and this is the prize out in my region, the Coyote Works backyard. So what I'm hiding out here is a prize that's worth a thousand dollars. I'm not going to tell you guys what the prize is, but what I will tell you is it's worth a thousand dollars and anybody that spends any time in the backcountry exploring in any capacity is going to really love it. So it is the winter time, so we're hiding this prize in a spot that's just about the end of the pavement on a road that's not too many miles outside of the town where I live. And where the prize is hidden is in a little area that's one of my favorite little close to home spots just to jet out and enjoy a little bit of time in the forest. This is a place where sometimes I can come after work to go on a little hike, shoot a little video. There's some history in the area, but more than anything, it's a spot that you guys might have to work a little bit to get to, but you'll be able to get in there even if there's snow on the ground. So stick around a little bit in the video for some more clues as to where you can start your search for this thousand dollar prize that I'm hiding up here in the forest. All right, well, it looks like we've come to the end of the road, so I guess we're gonna have to park the rig and get out and walk in a little ways from here. So here's a little look at what the prize capsule looks like. So it's this little, uh, oh, it's just a couple of inches by a couple of inches. And inside it is your coupon for the prize. So what you're looking for is this prize capsule right here. Well, as always, it is just gorgeous out here. Let's uh, go for a little walk up here and see if we can find a worthy spot to hide uh, this little prize capsule in. Sun came out. Take a look at the scenery around here. Just a gorgeous little spot. There are a couple of pretty cool little pieces of history up in here. There's a pretty old, um, well, the remains of an old homestead. Actually, not much is left of the homestead. I think there's a little bit of the outhouse and the old barn. There's that up in here. There's some mines up in the hills over here. There's actually a grove of cedar trees up in this neck of the woods that, as far as I know, is the only grove of cedar trees in the entire Ochico National Forest. So if you come out here looking for this prize, this will actually get you up into a pretty neat area of the forest to come back in the spring and the summer and explore and camp. We're right on the edge of the National Forest, so there's a lot of places up in here to disperse camp. There's some campgrounds a little further up the road. We're not too far from a place called Steen's Pillar that you'll want to check out. And then also, up in this same drainage that this prize is hidden in, there's a place called Brennan Palisades. And Brennan Palisades is another pretty cool little landmark to check out. I don't know if we'll make it to it on this hike, but there's a place in here called Brennan Palisades that we're within a mile or two of. It's just a pretty neat place to hike around, some really cool rock formations. There was one of the earlier homestead ranch operations of the area that was down at the base of it. Oh, check this out. I just walked into a spot where the deer have been bedding down and hanging in here. So you can see we got lots of deer tracks in here. And then look at this, we got the piles of scat. And that's actually fairly fresh too. And there's multiple piles in here. Just a nice little spot for them to hang in here where the running water's keeping the ice off the creek so they can get water to drink. And then there's some open kind of meadows in here that the sun will hit and melt the snow off first where they'll have a little bit more forage or a little bit more browse to choose from. So it's a nice little spot for them to bed down right in these trees and thickets in here in close proximity to food and water. Look at this guys, I think that's a bobcat track right there. See how it's kind of more round than your typical coyote track? And it's oh, about three inches or so across. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You don't see a ton of those around in here. All right, we're getting uh, close to the spot in here where uh, 
it's the general area where we're gonna hide that prize capsule. So I'm gonna have to stop filming for a little bit, guys. I can't make it too easy for you. So we got the prize hid and we're just kind of finishing out a nice little hike in here. We're getting up into the deeper snow. So it's actually getting a little tougher hiking. Oh man, look how beautiful that is out there. Somewhere out in uh, this valley in here is where that prize is hidden. All right, so as promised, I told you guys a little later in the video, I'd give you some more information on where to start your search. So I filmed this video on about the 7th of January, 2022, within a couple more days over at camplolo.com and on the Lolo Overland Instagram page, they'll have more information out on each of the prize locations across the state. So watch this video and you'll get some clues as to where this location is. You might even want to watch it a couple of times and you might watch it again when you get up here in the area and you're searching for the prize up here. All right, guys, well, that's all the information I can give you to start your search with, but that should give you enough to start getting you honed in on the area. And then uh, may the best person win out here. I wish you all luck on the contest and I look forward to hearing from the person that finds this prize out here. Thanks for joining me for this brief little video and uh, Man, I'll just look forward to seeing y'all on my next adventure. Until then, Coyote Works, out.